welcome back to another video so in our previous video we actually create database now let's go for the tables so if i go here you can see i have three table here so let's just um, insert them all so the first table is users so i will uh, select here uh, i mean the database and then you can uh, you can see the table name so we just have to give here the table name so let's uh, name it users right U S E R S users so we need how many columns for the id name email three four five we need five columns so let's select here five and create so our first column name is id so select, let's say here id and the second column name is name then email then we have password and role password and role id is integer and it should be auto incremented so if i select on ai i mean auto incremented it will by default be the primary key here you can see primary key so our id will be the primary key and then we have name name will be varkar let's say 255 here and email also varkar 255 and let's say we want to set the email as unique so we'll select the email as unique one that's it and now we have password and password also varkar 255 role is uh, enum okay so let's just go for it okay so we just have to set the values and the first values uh, let me just go here and here you can see first value value uh, for the admin and user so i will say admin and then next one is user users or user user okay so we have two value and now we will select go so now our role has two value one is admin another one is user okay everything is all right here and now we just have to save it so we have create our first table and there is for the users user have name email password and a role and id will be automatically incremented that's it and now let's go for the next table so next table is books so let me just copy it and i will go here and i will set the table name books and let's check how many columns actually we need so id title two three four five so five column create so first column name is id title author isbn quantity okay id title title author isbn and quantity isbn quantity id is integer and it should be auto incremented and primary key as well so if i click on auto incremented here you can see it automatically set primary key and then we have title and author and isbn so title should be unique right so let's go here and let's check it unique go so then isbn also should be unique so let me just remove this i don't need uh, the unique title so i'll say here like this and i need isbn as unique because in every single book actually if you read any book you can see that isbn uh, it has isbn number and it should be unique so we'll select unique go that's it and now let's go for the uh, type so id is it is a type title should be varga right and title can be long so i will give here 255 author varga but it should be under 50 character so isbn is integer and quantity is also integer that's it okay uh, it shows that isbn should be varkar okay okay isbn should be varkar so let's select here varkar and i want to set it let's say 100 that's it now actually we have done our table and now we actually will save it okay so we have two table one for the user one for the books 
and everything is all right here now let's go for the transaction table the third one is transactions so let me just copy it i will go to the i will click here uh, the database and then i will select the table name and paste it here transactions and let's go and check how many column actually we need id one two three four five six six column so i will give here six eight okay so first one is id right id the second one is user id user id so uh, let me just check user table we have user id here right okay so the id is parent key i mean a primary key here so if i want this id in the other uh, table it should be like uh, foreign keys right uh, so here user id and uh, user id is now here so let me just remove it user id and we have user id book id let's say so copy book id we should have book id also right and then issue date copy issue date so it should be date so let's check here so here you can see it date and then we will actually uh, return date so it can be null right okay so let's go here i will actually um, select here null level so uh return date so this is here and i want to actually set that null level okay it can be null level and then we have a quantity or maybe status right uh, status so let me just copy it i want to set here status that's it and the uh, uh, return date should be date and status should be worker uh, or enum okay so enum I mean we will actually set here enum and I want to set values so first one would be borrowed b-o-r-r-o-w-e-d borrowed and the second one return that's it i want to remove them all go okay so we have set two values borrowed and return and now everything is done here and that's it so this user id and book id actually from the uh, books table id and user table id okay so we'll actually pass them when they actually um, log will be logged in let's say user will be logged in so we will pass the user id uh, when actually he will actually want to uh, borrow the book that's it and now actually we'll save it uh, the problem is actually we have we forgot to uh, mention this uh, id will, will, will be auto incremented right so uh, it should be auto incremented so i will select here primary okay and now id is primary and it should be auto incremented so i will go here and i will select this auto incremented okay save okay so now id will be auto incremented so actually our table uh, database is done and also the tables so we have three tables books transactions and users so users for the user login i mean to ch check the user type or role uh, if it is admin or user and then we have transaction for uh, actually borrowing the book okay so thanks for watching uh, in our next video actually we will uh, show you uh, the diagram how actually we'll uh, design so thanks for watching see you in the next video till then goodbye